the Bitcoin network uses about 128 terawatt hours annually. That's about as much as Norway. So blockchain developers started looking for less carbon intensive mechanisms for consensus, which led to alternatives, including proof of stake. The algorithm for this mechanism decides who gets to validate transactions based on how much cryptocurrency a participant has set aside for the chance to validate a block of transactions. So basically, I still want the crypto reward, but instead of using up lots of computational power, I'm locking up some of my coins. For most network participants who don't have massive amounts of a cryptocurrency, competing in a proof of stake consensus mechanism means contributing to a staking pool. They're pooling their staked coins in order to have a stake that's large enough to get a validation responsibility. In traditional finance, we normally think of a savings account as a very low risk and low yield way of growing your money. You could think of staking almost like a high risk, high yield alternative.